Hello, my name is Lindy. And my name is Kalila. And we want to welcome you to Crash Course Earth Science. Today we're going to talk about crust. <laughs> Not that type of crust. Earth's crust. Earth's crust. Also known as the lithosphere. According to the plate theory, is the rigid outer layer that is somewhat fragile, like the shell of a hard-boiled egg. Yes, an egg. To the kitchen. Like an egg, the earth can crack and break into plates due to heat and pressure. In fact, the earth's crust is broken up into about 12 plates, seven of which are major. The major tectonic plates are the African, Antarctican, Eurasian, Indo-Australian, North American, South American, and Pacific. These plates float or ride on the asthenosphere. The layer right under the lithosphere. Proposed by Alfred Wegener in 1965, the continental drift theory was used to explain the movements of each plate. This theory states that Earth was once one supercontinent when all the continents hooked together like puzzle pieces. This supercontinent was called Pangaea and it was the last supercontinent to ever exist. Since it was a theory, he used evidence like fossils, sea floor spreading, and magnetism in rocks to prove it. Fossils from the same kind of animal and plants were found on different continents. Seafloor spreading is when seafloor moves away from the ridge, which results with cracks in the crusts. Science took core samples and found that the youngest rock is near the spreading center and the oldest rock is the farthest away. Magnetism in rocks is in evidence because study shows that some rocks have reverse magnetism. This means that what is now magnetic south was once magnetic north. Much like this theory, plate tectonics also create boundaries. To be more specific, they create three types of boundaries, divergent, convergent, and transform fault boundaries. To the kitchen? To the kitchen. To start off with, we have divergent boundary. What this is, is when two plate tectonics try to move away from each other in the opposite direction. These can be found on the ocean floor and features ridges and rifts. Next, we have the convergent boundary, which is when one plate collides with another like this. There are three types, continental, oceanic, Continental, continental, and oceanic, oceanic. Transform fault boundary is the last kind. This is when two plates scrape past each other like this. This features earthquakes and stripe slip faults. We said it earlier that these plates move due to forces inside Earth's surface. These forces are called convection currents. This is a cycle of hot material rising and cool material sinking. Heat from the core causes magma to rise up and move along the boundary of the asthenosphere and the lithosphere. As magma begins to cool, it starts to sink towards the core. This cyclic movement can be compared to a chain hanging at the edge of a table and slowly begin to slide. So we know the convection current is what moves the different plates, and because of this force, there are many geological features created by them. Geological features such as ocean basins, seafloor spreading, volcanic formations, earthquakes, and mountain building. Ocean basins are regions below the sea level, and roughly 70% of Earth is made up of ocean basins. These hold a majority of Earth's water, and they can either be active or inactive. Active means they're still in the process of creating new structures, and features are still being shaped. Inactive is when the surface is slowly being changed. The Gulf of Mexico would be a prime example because of the large amount of soil deposition happening there. You might be wondering how plates play a role in this. Plates play a role by spreading apart, and when they do, they create gaps where molten rocks and magma rise up. Magma cools, and this adds on a new layer to the ocean crust. When the magma cools, it can cool into different forms, forms such as ridges, hills, mountains, trenches, and many more. However, mountain building is formed when, tect when tectonic plates collide together. Depending on whether or not the two plates subduct or override each other determines the type of mountain they form. For example, volcanic mountains are formed when tectonic plates are pushed beneath one another or above a mid-ocean ridge or hotspot where magma is forced to the surface. When the magma reaches the surface, it often builds a volcanic mountain, such as a shield volcano or a shadow volcano. Like volcanoes, earthquakes are another geological feature that can create massive destruction. An earthquake is a shaking and vibration of Earth's crust due to the moving of plate tectonics. They have the ability to happen along any boundaries. This usually happens when tension is released from the inside of the crust. When plates move, sometimes they get stuck, and when it does, pressure starts to build. When this pressure is eventually released, an earthquake is usually the result. Speaking of earthquakes...
and just crop it out. I like this. It's like <laughs> for these Look at <laughs> proactive. <laughs> My double chin, my forehead shiny. <laughs> I love you. My finger. <laughs> Hello, my name is Wendy. Hello, my name is Wendy. Hello, my name is Wendy. <laughs> You look so that I can't stay after school. Like Michelle, check, did you have a video to record? Just, 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 just.